Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my channel First of all, introduce myself My name is Nuna Ningsi Student of English Education Class B 2019 Third semester at University of Sulawesi Barat Courses Intermediate Grammar and Lecturer Mr. Adi Isma Now, I will give proposition of material What are these preposition? Preposition are one of the parts of speech that beginner must learn. This preposition is one of the words that very often comes out in various skills in English, including listening, reading, writing, and speaking. And this is very important, so don't underestimate it. Okay, let's start with the understanding. A preposition is a preposition, the word used in front of a noun or pronoun. Nouns or pronouns act as object. Basically, there are three prepositions, namely preposition of time, preposition of place, and preposition of movement. So, according to their function and Use preposition can be used to show information about place, time, and movement. Let's immediately examine the types of preposition. The first is the preposition of time. The preposition of time is a preposition used to be the known time. Example of this preposition are on, in, at, after, before, during, since, and so on. Let's go to the example sentence. The first example. Dita was born in 1995. The second example. I will call you after dinner. The second preposition of place. A preposition of place is a preposition that is used to indicate a place or position. For example, on, under, beside, inside, in front of, bein, among, and so on. So, let's continue the example sentence. The first example. Hyoga is standing on the front of US. The second example, we learn preposition materials on YouTube. The third example, who are you? I'm already in the library. And the last preposition of movement. Preposition of movement is a preposition that indicates direction or movement. Example of words from this proposition are in the, out, of, inside, around, fast, down, toward, and so on. Example in the sentence. The first example, the student come into the class. The second example, please don't go, I will come toward the place that you mean. The third example. So, how do you understand proposition? It's very easy, right? In conclusion, this proposition is often used in tenses and several sentences that are often used in English. Because this proposition is one of the words that often comes out in various skills in English. There are three types of preposition namely preposition of time, 
preposition of place and preposition of movement. The question is when you have identified the preposition and their function, hopefully we can all improve our English and don't put the preposition wrong. Okay, well, in all of the preposition material this time, I hope this video explanation can help all of you. Thank you very much for watching. Keep learning. Wallahumma fikila pamitarik. Suma salamu warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.